Hi, Carol. How are you? Um, thank you for taking some time to join us today. Uh, you are now, uh, I think, number five uh, in the series of what we call Real Patient Stories here, where we're talking to some of our former um, and actually, I guess, still current patients. Uh, even though we're not planning doing anything more surgically, we're still going to follow you for a little while longer. Um, and then as long as you wish to hear from us. But um, we first met you in uh, December of last year. Right. Um, and I was wondering if you could speak a little bit uh, about what led you to, to us. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty easy. <laughs> I uh, Last summer, uh, it was probably the worst summer I'd ever had. I, uh, the pain was almost nonstop. Um, I would wake up every morning and, and sort of the back of my head would be, would feel like it was on fire almost every morning. I pretty much did nothing that summer. I couldn't garden. I couldn't travel. I couldn't uh, really cook. I didn't feel like eating. Um, it was probably the worst um, summer I had had. Mm -hmm. uh, I had was getting Botox shots. Um, regularly and I was getting trigger injections uh, weekly and and nothing seemed to be helping so right. I was spending a lot of time in bed and I was getting increasingly frustrated uh, yeah because, because nothing was helping sure. and I finally I finally went to my neurologist and I said uh, we have a well we have a uh, a medical center in Portland Oregon okay and, and I asked to be referred to them um, to see if there was something that they might be able to do for me, because I pretty much uh, exhausted all of the resources in my area. Got and it. and so they went ahead and referred me. And after, I don't know, maybe a month, uh, I got a note back from them saying that they wouldn't see me because I would pretty much done everything that they were able to offer. So I was at a low at that yeah. point. Totally uh, understandable. I thought, I can't live with this for the rest of my life. This is just mm -hmm. not the way I want to live the rest of my life. Yeah. And I had, um, I belonged to several migraine and occipital neuralgia support groups on Facebook, and I had seen your name come up um, many times with uh, glowing um, reviews of you and, and the results that you had gotten for your patients. And so I thought, um, I'll get, you know, I'll give them a try. And so I contacted your office and we kind of went from there. Okay. And so anyway, yeah. I was able to come and see you fairly quickly after that. Okay. And so ultimately, as you recall, obviously we, we determined there was a couple nerves and your case is a little interesting because um, it was primarily your lesser occipital nerves that are nerves kind of on the side of the neck that kind of go behind. I mean, this is not universally true because as I told you and, and a million patients, you know, not a million, but many patients, you know, everybody's wired a little differently, but they tend to be nerves here on the side. And we determined that the right and left lesser occipital nerves were your main issues. So we did surgery on uh, December 4th and right. uh, you are now almost eight months after right. operation. Tell us what's going on. How, how are you feeling? Well, now I'm I'm feeling pretty good most of the time. Um, <laughs> one of the big things I was hoping for was that I'd be able to wear my glasses again because, mm -hmm. <laughs> and read because I I love to read right. and um and I have to wear glasses in order to do that. And one of the problems with having pain from those particular nerves is that where your glasses sit back here behind your ear, it can be, get very painful. And um, I don't have any pain back there anymore, which is yeah. awesome. It's just awesome. So I don't have a problem with that at all. Okay. Um, in fact, because we had to cut the nerves back there, I don't feel much of anything back here anymore. I don't get the pain in the back of my head anymore. Um, a lot of the pain in my neck has gone. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I used to get shooting electrical type pain up on either side. I have not had any of that okay. since, since surgery. So yeah, um, I'm, I'm getting my energy back. I'm gardening this right. summer. Um, if uh, we hadn't had the coronavirus, I would have spent three weeks in the UK. I had that planned. <laughs> right, yeah, I wish surgery could take care of that, but unfortunately, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're, we're limited. So I just want to be clear, because I think what you say is is uh, important for a lot of reasons, all the things that you're saying. But um, 
So you're obviously able to wear glasses, which is great, because I notice you're wearing them now. Uh, hopefully you're, you're able to read up a storm. Certainly most of us have a little bit, a little bit more time um, to do that. Um, but uh, you, know, you mentioned in terms of the things that you do feel back there, um, are, do, you, do you notice a lot of numbness? Um, I don't notice the numbness and uh, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, when I feel back there, I can tell that you know, I've lost some sensitivity but only if I'm back there touching it. Otherwise, I don't, it doesn't bother me a bit. Right. Not a okay. Bit. So yeah, you have had a little bit of numbness, but again, something that's inconsequential. So uh, yeah, I mean, I think obviously you've done very, very well and we're really happy for you. And um, I really appreciate you taking some time and sharing your story. Um, I always give patients the last word. I don't know if there's anything else you kind of wanted to say. Uh, but I'll, I'll give you the, the, the mic, so to speak, and, and then we'll just thank you for your time and say goodbye. Okay. Well, I think the only thing I would say is I wish that um, doctors were more aware of um, the type of um, service that you provide, because I've come back and talked to my neurologist and I've talked to other people. And they've been so surprised that this type of thing was available to people that suffer from this kind of pain. And um, I think it's kind of kind of sad that I had to find this on my own. I I just yeah. wish there was a way to make people more aware of, of this of this wonderful thing. Yeah. Well, it's you and I both. Um, I, I would ask one other question as a follow-up, since again, I think you raise an interesting point. You know, we've been banging on the door, so to speak, of neurologists in the medical community for a long time. And, you know, we continue to make inroads, for example, the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, I think it was back in 2018, put out a formal position statement saying that when more traditional methods of treating chronic headaches have failed, that not only is uh, this type of surgery uh, safe and effective, but should be considered the standard of care and certainly not experimental. Uh, and that, that paper, which is widely available on the internet for free, um, or that, uh, you know, statement, position paper, whatever, um, I think has 89 peer-reviewed articles to support it. So certainly it's not something we just thought of yesterday. Uh, but I, I guess I'm curious how, when you speak with your neurologist back there now, yes, they're surprised, but are they are they interested? Are they looking into it? Have they, um, you know, have they talked to you about it and said, hey, what did you have done? And, uh, you know, are they, do they think it, it actually was as successful as you seem to think it is? Or do they seem to kind of uh, say, oh, well, it's just lucky or we just, you know, things eventually just calm down on their own kind of thing? No, they were very interested. And in fact, I usually go in and I, I bookmark the pictures of my, of my surgery and mm -hmm. I show pictures. Mm -hmm. And then um, I kind of explain the way you explained to me what was going on with the nerves. And I show them and they are like, uh, wow, that's amazing. You know, who was this again? You know, and I tell them your name and I say, you know, if you have patients that are interested in this, they're free to call me and talk to me about it. Um, I real I talk it up because yeah. I been wonderful for me and I think there are a lot of people that could benefit from it that don't know about it. Yeah I, I agree with you 100% and I, you know again really it's not at all about me there's a number of surgeons who and hopefully you know with more and more with time who have uh, learned about this studied it and uh, safely learned how to do these operations and can do them well so I think again there's there's patients all around the country and all around the world um, who uh, I think you're right will, would benefit so it's it's really great to hear that um, you know, you're, you're making some inroads and I really appreciate your support as always. Again, thank you for taking some time and uh, I'll let you get back to uh, uh, your life, which okay. looks a lot sunnier these days. All right, take care and have a great day. You too. Thank you so much. You bet. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.